Blog Talk Radio. Good evening. Good morning. What time it is? Well, I'm kind of training school, Dale Seals High School, Alumni Association College Career Day. Especially up in this 
this area, your district. You know, tell them your district and uh, how far. In fact, I believe you got the largest district in the whole system, isn't it? You are correct. I do have the largest district in Monroe County. Um, one of the things that we have doing now, we have the new monies that came available um, for um, roads, what were um, not from the market roads, what were roads to be refurbished. And one of the roads, matter of fact, you'll be excited about this. One of the roads we're doing is going to be right at your wife's um, old home place. We're going to be doing Nettles Road. That's yeah. going to be one of my first projects. Um, Skinner Mill Road. Um, we have several. We have I have three going, and um, we're excited about it. Um, wish we could do more, but as the funding come in, we're going to make sure that we take the funding that is allocated to district four and be used on district four. A lot of times you find a rough, if you there are some extra money coming in, it's going to take care of Reed Road. Reed Road is joining with um, another commissioner, district two. He and I, we're going to join together. We're going to be able to do Reed Road at the same time. I'm excited about that because we road is another one of the real poor roads in our in my district. Um, we do a survey, and if I could pick roads and do, Lord knows I would pick some of the ones that people call me about, but I cannot. It's not left up to me. Um, there are pointed roads. There's a road in, in this city of Beashton where we live at. It's Turnbull Road. It is terrible. Oh. It is terrible. And I'm not blinded by it. I'm working on it. There's a project I got going now. I'm going around to each resident on each property owner that's on the outskirts of Turnbull Road, and I'm asking them for consent because we're going to have to go in and widen that road before we yeah. do anything with it. And the reason why we can't take money and put on it is because that road was never prepped for us. It was paid. never prepped to be paid. It was just slab. There was dishes were never dug, lines were never ran. That was over so thirty some years ago. Over forty some years yeah. ago. Woo. And and, and um, we're excited about that too. Uh, I'm sure that the residents are gonna work with me on that as long as they can get something done. I can recall back in my younger years when Grant Boulevard was done, it came around and had to get an easement. He had to get an easement and we lost two large oak trees that everybody used to park beside on our road and um, but we're excited about it and we have to listen a couple companies. We have been turned down by two. And we're looking at another one. Um, people just are not trying to break down and get into Monroe County. They're not, they're not knocking on the door. We're knocking on yeah. that door. So we're, there's some solicitation going on from Monroe County to different um, businesses um, trying to entice them to come in. And, and with all the other uh, commissioners uh, being involved, um, talk a little bit about, just like you were saying, interest should be looking for infrastructure improvement. Um, from the perspective of uh, you collectively with the other county commissioners in the county, what is being done so far as to improve the infrastructure, such as what you're doing now, especially the roads? That's, that's, that's one thing, but sewer and uh, other other elements that they help out in infrastructure. That was exactly what I was getting ready to say something on the city sewers. Yeah. We, if we had, I can recall about six years ago, we talked about getting city sewers here in the Andrews. Mm -hmm. um, that would have been a great asset. Yeah. You know, a lot of times people have put six to ten thousand dollars in septic systems and mm -hmm. they're afraid of, you know, here what I put all this one in this, what am I gonna do now? Mm -hmm. But with the well, with the sewage system, you're in you're invited companies to come in. Yeah. People wanna see that. One of the things that because if we don't if we don't if we're we're gonna be a red light city, which is not gonna be a good city. Yeah. A good county. Mm -hmm. Um we we had a couple businesses come in in the past three years but they did not pan out. their name, but they did not pan out. Yeah. Um, we, we did get them here, but they were not long the Yeah, can't keep them. Can't keep them. Yeah. So we got to get something in to be able to entice them in here and hold them here. Um, our employment, unemployment rate is at an all-time high to mm -hmm. this county. Um, yeah. We're not as high as some of our surrounding counties, but, but we we're all-time. Yeah. Well, uh, Mr. Moore, I... Uh, I have uh, known you uh, a while and known you all my all your life, and I'm uh, happy that you're going to uh, go ahead and challenge again to maintain your seat. Uh, as they say, uh, 
Go for it. I'm going. I'm going. Go for it. I'm going all the way, and I want yes. the people to come all the way with me. Yeah. Um, very excited. There's one, um, one or two that have already um, put names in the hat, but my name is in there too. So remember, Corey Morrow County Commissioner District Court, and I will appreciate your vote. Even if I don't, even if I don't ask for it, no, I'm looking at you like I will. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's gonna be times that I can't ask for it. But, Due to dual occupation. Yeah. Due to dual occupation. I can't say nothing when I'm out patrolling. Mm-hmm. But when you see me and I'm not patrolling, I'm happy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have I have not known a time that uh, when I picked up the phone or when my wife picked up the phone regarding something police work to be done, Corey was not there. We uh, had some trying times with our family, and uh, you were right there. Uh, timely information, and uh, I appreciate what you do. Yes, sir. On behalf well, of all you. of us here at House of Dr. Blog Talk Radio, thank you, sir. Thank you so much, Ms. Howell. All right, take care now. Good evening, and we're back again with uh, Mr. Frederick Collins uh, with the Monroe County Sheriff's Office, and he's going to be talking about the Monroe County Sheriff's Department here in Monroe County, Alabama. How you doing, Mr. Carter? Welcome to House of Green Gospel, Blog Talk Radio. Captain Carter, you got the map. And um, 
I have uh, thrown my name in the hat uh, a week or two.